In this video, we will create a Docker file for this uh, view app and deploy that Docker container to AWS, Google Cloud, and Azure. So let's start. Let's create a Docker file. So to build uh, this app, we will uh, use multi-stage uh, builds in Docker. I will explain you what is that. So first we have to start from node and I will put the version of node to this version and I will name this as build. So I will explain later why I named it like this. First, let's specify the working directory. I'll name it up. Then let's copy package.json to the app. So to the working directory, this second dot means this working directory. I will add a star here. So this will get uh, package.json and also package log.json. So after we got uh, those files, we run npm install. So it will install the node modules, then we'll copy all the files to the working directory. So all these files, we will, it will be copied to this working directory. And then we run npm run build. So this will build uh, this uh, view up to a, dis a distribution folder. So if we run this command npm run build, uh, we'll see a distribution folder will be created here. So this is the folder and it will have an index.html and etc. So uh, now what I will do is I'll add another from here and uh, I'll get nginx version 1.19. Why I'm adding another from here? So this is multi-stage building. So, so uh, we don't need all these folders anymore inside the Docker container. Inside the Docker container, we need only the distribution folder. So only this folder. And to do that, first we have to create the first uh, stage, which uh, we have all the files and the distribution folder. And then uh, we create another uh, from here. And uh, first we need an nginx file. So we will use nginx here. Let's create directory nginx. And inside I'll create a file nginx.conf. Here I will paste uh, this code. So uh, it's a lot of code, but uh, I will provide the link in the description of this video. So you can get this code and uh, to copy that nginx file, we run copy nginx nginx.conf. We have to copy it for, to the etc folder nginx nginx.conf. So we'll put this uh, file there, then we'll copy from build. That's why I named it like this. So once we finish, we have a reference for this uh, build. So from that build, we want only the distribution folder. So in the app distribution folder, that's why we named also the working directory app. So it is in app and also distribution folder. We'll copy it to user share nginx html and that's it so uh, in the end we will have a smaller container just containing html and uh, javascript and css files so let's run this container to run this container uh, make sure first to have installed docker and run docker build uh, we need to specify the name for this container. I'll call it app. So if you want to name 
your container or whatever name you want put minus t and the name here then i will put a dot which means uh, that uh, it is this folder here and it will select uh, this docker file so with this uh, our docker is building let's wait till it's completed then so it is built now and uh, to see it on the browser we need to run it so run docker run we need to specify a port so to see it on our browser i'll put uh, this port to our browser and uh, this uh, app will run on port 80 since we are using nginx here and then we need the name of our container which is app so let's run this and uh, is running now so if we go to localhost port 8888 we'll see the view app so this is our container and now i will close uh, this uh, window now because we don't need it anymore now let's deploy this container so i'm logged into my azure portal here and uh, before i create anything make sure to have uh, installed the azure cli so download the right version for your machine and uh, follow the instructions you will have uh, access to this az command which uh, it will show these options so before uh, uh, so let's go back to the azure portal and uh, we'll create a container registry so we don't have any container registry yet so let's create a container registry so uh, i will create a container registry here the resource group i i have a demo demo resource group here which i added just the name the registry name i'll call it app so it needs uh, to have a uh, five characters so i'll call it my app uh, already in use so my container okay it's container app so which name is not used so my container app i will use this uh, name and uh, for the location you can pick your location for this SKU I will select the ba basic version let's create it and uh, we can uh, create this uh, registry and now that we created our registry uh, we need also to log in so uh, first we have to log in uh, via Azure like this easy login so we need to sign in to our account here and uh, we logged in to microsoft azure so as we can see uh, it uh, shows this data so after we log in there we have to run this other command so uh, azure uh, azure container registry login and here we need the name which was which was app so let's copy it also so go to the resource and let's copy the url which is uh, this one so uh, we don't need the suffix So let's log in. So this will allow us to push the Docker container to Azure. So we successfully logged in. And uh, now that we logged in, we can uh, push our image. To push our image, first we have to tag the image. So Docker tag. The name of our container is up and uh, i'll paste again this uh, url which i copied and uh, we need to add in the end slash app so this is uh, our uh, repository here so i added this and uh, after we tag 
we have to push it. So let's push it. And now it's pushing our container to the uh, Azure uh, container registry. So let's wait till it's completed. So it is completed. Now we can go back and uh, here we'll go to the repositories. This is our app repository and uh, here we have our image. So this is uh, our image and uh, what I will do here is uh, I will copy this uh, container name. So I'll copy this and uh, let's go back to the home and let's create a container instance now. So let's create a container instance. I'll select the same resource group. Uh, we need the container name. The container name is up and uh, we have to select the image source to Azure Container Registry. And we have our uh, container app. So uh, we need to enable uh, admin here. So let's click learn more. And we have to run this command. So uh, I will copy this command and I will run it here. So we need the, the uh, name here or I will write it directly. Not sure if we need the uh, my container up. So I made the mistake here. It should uh, be with uh, one M, not two M's. So it is enabled and uh, now we can uh, use it. So uh, do we need to refresh here? I will refresh and I will select this resource group. I'll select up here, registry, and now it is selected. So uh, everything is correct. I'll change the size here. I will keep everything minimal. So 0.5 is uh, minimal uh, memory. So I'll select this, review and create. Uh, also, I think uh, I forgot something. So uh, we need to also go to the networking part and we have to map the port 80. So by default is automatically mapped. So we don't have anything to change. But if your container port is different, we need to select here the uh, the other port. So 80 is correctly. And uh, we don't need to uh, change anything else. Let's create it. So deployment is in progress. The deployment is complete. So let's go to the resource. And uh, we have a public IP address here. So we can copy this IP address. And if we go to that IP address, we can see our app deployed. So this is how we deploy a Docker container to Azure contain container instance. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you like, share and subscribe. Thank you.